Hi everyone, good afternoon. Welcome to our third and final show of this, the first day of the launch of Care and Kindness. It's been an absolute runaway success. Uh, we do have two more shows tomorrow, of course, at 10 and 12, as we always do on the second day of the launch. So to get 40% of the entire stock gone before the third show, just in a couple of shows, is pretty phenomenal. This is it. Care and Kindness, what's it all about? Well, basically, if you've got someone that you know or someone in the family that's been through an illness or getting over whatever it may be, or just having a, a, a bad time, maybe at work or or you just worry for them, they're going through it. That's what this is all about, showing compassion, showing love with whimsy, but also with really elegant, sophisticated healing flowers. We were talking about the flowers earlier on, not Carla and I not really knowing which, which flowers they were, because we're not up on our flowers, but they're, they're flowers like ginkgo biloba, echinacea, um, chamomile. chamomile, all the sort of ginseng. healing flowers, ginseng, all the sort of flowers that you associate with healing and having good properties. That's what these florals are. So that's the kind of almost um, subtle connection. You know, it's not necessarily saying get well soon from the rooftops as such. It's kind of showing that you care with the, the healing flowers. But then you've also got the characters that Carnation are so famous for as well, including Dr. Duck, including uh, lots of other characters there as well. The squirrel, you've got the mouse, which of course is iconic for Carnation. Um, you've got the, uh, the bear down the bottom in the bed. You've got the um, little robin with a, an injured wing and arm in a sling or wing in a sling. So they are fantastic. So you've got the whimsy and you've also got the very graceful and elegant too. And then down here, you've got your sunny side corner. Now, obviously, if someone's getting over an illness, it's getting better. The rays of sun come out to kind of, you know, celebrate that fact. Down on the bottom, we've got, um, of course, get feel better. We've got get well soon and also speedy recovery. And all of us are saying that feel better is a lovely one because that covers everything. It not, doesn't necessarily mean that someone's been poorly, but they've been through a rough time or whatever. You've then got your medical equipment. You've got the medicine bag. You've got the bag of ice. You've got the drip. You've also got the table there, of course, as well. And then Finally, you've got these really, really cute uh, hot water bottles. You've got a bag of peas. Mum always used to put peas on a bruise. I don't know if you do that still. Um, you've got the bedside cabinet with a light. You've got the mug of soup. And you've also, of course, the, got the cup of tea as well. So the whole thing has got a kind of a DL feel to it. What I mean by that is the actual matting and layering dies that you've got there will cut and create these sort of shapes. But this is a card that Carla did in the earlier show, which shows you you don't have to make DL cards with it. You can make an 8x8 card with it. So incredibly versatile using some of those wonderful healing flowers. And then this is done by Barbara Trebwell. So I've just moved my fingers out of the way. You can see the little um, the little mouse tending to the squirrel with a, with a splint. With a, with, what do you call those things? Um, crutches. Crutches, that's it. Again, this is another one that uh, we did and Carla did in the earlier show, which you can watch back. The 9 o'clock show and the 11 o'clock show will be on YouTube uh, forever to look back on. Uh, and this is actually bringing in one of the other card shapes we've got in the show that I'll talk more about in a second or so. But I just want to show you as many of these as I can because they are absolutely adorable. Fiona Abbott is the design team member behind this one. So the bear obviously is the patient. Um, really, really sweet, really gorgeous. And then you don't have to make big cards with these. You can make nice small little cards. And this is another card shape, which I'll show you in a second. That's by Fiona Abbott. But one of my favorites, and I, I shouldn't have favorites really, but I just really think this is so lovely. Janine Dawson, one of the talented design team has done this using a card shape that we'll show you in a second. But isn't that just a stunning easel card? using just the florals and using these matted and layered sections of the card base we're going to show you in a second. Now it's on the screen right now. You're going to get, if you want the contemporary card shapes collection, you're going to get, of course, the ladder, which can also be a picket fence, can also be a train track. Uh, and you're also going to get the die set on the left of your screen there on the picture. Uh, that's what's behind making this card here that you can see, which is stunning. Now, stock update wise, uh, just after one o'clock on Monday, this selection has 60% sold through. 60% of the stock gone of these card shapes. They're only $39.99. You can buy them on the website individually, but what I would say is they're really versatile. Both of them are as versatile as each other. And the deal that Carnation have done, if you buy them both together, is a good one. You've got 10 pounds off. So that's by far the best way and the most affordable way of getting those. And you have also got even um, artwork and vignettes for that on the website too. So 60% of that's gone. The main collection, 40% of the main collection has now gone. So when someone says to you, can you do a get well soon card for me? Or you know someone in the family that's been a bit poorly, just feeling a bit down, you know that you've got either the very elegant florals or you've got the whimsical, over there, the whimsical characters, which you can jump for. And that just says the right thing. Now the price, 
is an exclusive new price. This is exclusive to us at Carnation Crafts TV at the moment. It's not available anywhere else for now. And the price is only £99.99. You're looking at a saving of about £133 off what the price should be, uh, or £33 off what the price should be. It should be £132.94. But if you order it today, you get it for £99.99, which everyone gets that discounted price. The show price, though, will go up by 10% um, at the end of the week, at midnight on Friday, if there's any stock left. But that's if there's any stock left. So if you fancy it today, there's PayPal Pay in 3, Clear Pay available if you want to spread the cost, free PMP if you're in the UK because you're spending more than £50. And you know our team at Carnation, as soon as you place your order, they go to the warehouse, pick it, post it, and it's on its way. You might even get it tomorrow, even at this stage of the proceedings today. If not tomorrow, probably the day after. Carnation are really good at getting them out very, very quick for you. Now, if you're watching us in the USA, it's a bit um, later in the day in the USA now. Our earlier shows, it would have been in the middle of the night. So lots of you watch the later shows in the United States. If you are watching, your shipping and handling is $4.95 for the main collection. If you go for things like ProPrint paper or the Perfect Papers, um, your shipping is $14.95, okay? And that's uh, no matter where you are in the US. Quickly before giving a look at the boards with Carla, Perfect Papers, that is an absolute must have for many of you when you buy a collection because the artwork that you print off from Carnation Crafts website um, matches and coordinates with these colorways. You get 48 sheets, 300 GSM, and that's just £14.99 if you'd like that today. And if you just look at, if I just pick at random, um, one of these cards, that one that I showed you from Janine a few minutes ago, I've done that one, so let's do this one. Uh, this is from Lavinia Newton, but just look, see those colorways, how wonderfully well the artwork and the perfect papers work together. So it's a great opportunity today uh, to perhaps have characters in your collection that you haven't had before. You struggle maybe with a Get Well Soon card or an I'm Thinking of You card. This is the solution. Care and Kindness, the perfect papers, $14.99. The main collection, just $99.99. Thank you for lunch, Miss Gala. You're more than welcome, Mr. David. Full belly. I know, I feel very full as well. Mm. It's made me feel a little bit sleepy. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. It feels like, uh, but there you go. We had to eat very fast. So consequently, I end up feeling all dozy. No more than usual. Right, so let's have a look at what you're getting in this fantastic collection. So you've got your sunny corners here and they're just beautiful, aren't they? The three colorways coming through. So we see different uses for them depending on what we're making, what kind of um, imagery we're going to be using on top as well. So you can really bring out your warm tones, your cooler tones, and you can bring out your rose tones too. You've also got the extra die that creates this stunning background piece. It's a really nice textural piece. If you do scrapbooking, journaling, anything like that, that's going to be incredibly useful for those things. Think if you're making, uh, if you're doing journaling for instance and you're doing your uh, diary pieces and you're making corners for those, if you're making corners for photographs, this is going to be a really useful piece anyway. For card making it gives us a textural quality for the background. Also comes with your uh, card base and then your your mats and layers it's got more than one nested on here and that means you can create in all different kinds of ways apertures you can play with layers on top you can play with different uh, heights on your mats and layers as well so at absolute across the range this is useful it's a beautiful piece do you know what when i see the yellow i think sunshine when i see the blue and i see the lavender i think maybe more um petals from flowers okay see what i mean i see these as festival pieces i don't know why they oh, yeah. just remind me of festival. Well, if I just show you a couple of cards with those, um, th that is actually going behind the geometric lines card shape. So you've got the subtlety of the uh, rays of the sun going off there. But that looks really, really lovely, very beautiful. And we've got a smaller card, which I've just buried somewhere. Um, here we go. This little squirrel with, again, the sun's rays in the background. Use it as a background. Very, very gorgeous indeed. So <laughs> versatile dye to add to your collection. And then we come leg. to the florals. Yeah, then we have this help and healing panels. Really important set for us for our toolbox because not only do we have these beautiful, beautiful panels, which obviously have a transparent background, so we can use mm -hmm. them in, you can already see where we can be going with these, can't you, with acetate and things like that, lots of different ways of playing. They do have base layers here and they're nested. So again, we're playing with apertures, layered apertures, which always look stunning. And we can also utilize them for layering up, we can utilize them for other things, but they are obviously the perfect size for these panels. And that makes them incredibly useful. It also makes means from a composition point of view we can create the DL but we can also create structured formation across a card in different heights and that's really nice so I think if you did the tall to the midline to the short you've created your compositional diagonal 
sentiment at the top, Bob's your uncle, you've done something really beautiful. Then you've got all your decoupage elements as well for all of the florals that we've been talking about. So I believe we have echinacea, chamomile, uh, ginkgo, lavender and ginseng. So I believe that we've got all of those coming through the whole of the creations and they are just sublime. You're looking very pleased with yourself I'm then, remembering all that. I'm feeling quite pleased with myself Dave, feeling quite pleased with myself. Let's show you a few of the cards using predominantly then the florals. You don't need to use all of them, just one of them or two of them is all you need. A really dinky little card there featuring Dr Duck. Um, Barbara Trebwell has done this one using quite a few of those flowers. That's spectacular, that's like a wild meadow isn't it? And it is because you can either use the decoupage elements for that, remember you can snip into those panels to free up the florals that are the inside of them as well, so you can choose to use them differently and it's just absolutely stunning, isn't it? Look at these. Gorgeous that geometric colors card shape is beautiful. Isn't and it? Don't forget, uh, yeah, the geometric shape colors, uh, sorry, the geometric shape card shape uh, is going very fast. 60% of the stock has gone. That's at the beginning of the one o'clock show. So grab those if you want them. Um, and of course, the artwork you can print off right now at carnationcrafts.co.uk. Let me go on to the characters. I know, our little so friends sweet. here, aren't they gorgeous? So you have got obviously your teddy bear here. You've got your Dr. Doc, who's just beyond cute, reading his chart, looking very, very busy. But again, these are because they're in context of what we see right now they are absolutely that but take them out of context he doesn't necessarily have to be a doctor at all it could be a duck in a t-shirt reading a book it depends what you're doing and where you're putting the characters the little teddy bear that's in bed would be perfect with other collections that we've had especially when it comes to baby collections things like that just fit in perfectly wouldn't he and then we've got your little rabbit in his scrubs carnation mouse always iconic you've got now another one added to your collection this time he's a doctor i think very important and very much like he knows what he's doing then you've got cyril squirrel down here with his leg in a cast and his crutches just bring you know hobbling along ready to see the doctor you can see his hand is perfectly placed in order to place his hand you know maybe on the teddy bear's head or on the squirrel's leg or on the robin's wing so any which way it will play then you've got your stethoscope and you've got your magnifying glass so these characters are going to take you a long long way and each with its own mat layer and you can use the characters to great effect on their own i've found this one which i've not shown yet from pam simpson look at the teddy bear just kind of propped up in bed with a hot water bottle tucked behind him keeping nice and warm and then you've got the flower display going on in the top no flowers on this one to speak of really but just a lovely scene so a thank you card that could be to the nurses that looked after a member of your family or yourself or whoever it might be i mean if you're a nurse or a doctor and you get a thank you card like that that's I special know right yeah, yeah absolutely to be noted and then i think my favorite character has to be oh the robin look at the robin with his wing and a sling <laughs> isn't that lovely beautiful isn't it and again that's using the um ladder card blank that we talked about earlier on but using it east west horizontally rather than vertically and then we go on to the uh, the medical apparatus, I suppose. Yes, your a little extra help set of dies here where you've got the doctor's bag. Decoupage that up, it looks incredible, but also you've then got this piece which can sit beautifully over the edge of a card, which gives it that visual cue, that extra length on that, that card, and it's really pretty to look at. We've got the thermometer, so even down to the minutiae, we have taken care of all of the detailing then you've got your little table for the patients to lie on that could be the teddy bear sitting on there couldn't it the robin with his wing and the doctor underneath lots of different uses for it we've got your ice pack for those poorly heads and we've got your iv drip as well just or it could be a sailing drip it could be any number of things but it's all there for you and you could snip into it as well of course <coughs> excuse me when you cut it this bit obviously is loose that can be attached to one of our characters and i'll just show you here there's the drip there we go look just attached to the bear there there's the uh the table with a lamp next to it as well so really useful and really um you know all elements that you need to kind of build up a scene to tell a story you know what someone's been through you know what someone's going through uh or you just know what maybe the person you want to send the car to does for a living are they a nurse are they a doctor do they look after you with um your notes and all that sort of thing where they always constantly coming around with the drips for you or it could be that um you know it's, it's not for that at all maybe you're raising funds for local uh, hospitals or hospital yeah. charities and trusts and things then obviously selling cards like this maybe in the hospital foyer would be really really good 
they're just beautiful aren't they yeah we move on there to rest and recuperation and this talks us through the story of the elements needed maybe when we are recovering and when we're trying to stay warm stay looked after we've got the peas for the head for any bumps or bruises that may occurred we or may have occurred we've got your ever important hot water bottle i think we all have needed those in the past few months you've got your table with a little side lamp on it you've got your cup of tea and you've got your warm bowl of steaming soup everything we need to recover from any kind of ailment is all seated there to create these stunning carbs out of all these elements it's the bag of frozen peas that takes me back to my childhood <laughs> if ever i fell I... off my bike or fell off my go-kart or whatever it was oh come here get some peas out of the freezer put it on your leg no i just i wish no dave really? no no mm. i've heard tell of a mustard poultice from the past can you remember that no no okay it's, I think it's the difference between maybe South and Yorkshire. <laughs> in Yorkshire, it was a get up and get on. You're not <laughs> get dying, up, get up. move. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. So those, again, another wonderful 3D, uh, 3D scene. Um, this one's been done by Vera Bow. Vera, this is stunning. Another stunning sample. Look at the depth in that. Use your decoupage. You know, all the skills you've learned for decoupage in layering and layering and layering. This is where this all comes in. It's absolutely exquisite. Beautiful really stunning then we've got the sentiments finally your sentiments here get well soon feel better and speedy recovery important important sentiments especially the feel better we've spoken about this a lot this morning but it's a really important cue isn't it because what it's not saying is that somebody is physically poorly it's saying that maybe you're having a bad day and we're thinking about you it's the element of care that comes in and I think also if it's certainly for those of you that sell having something like feel better on will cover a massive yeah. remit for the people who are wanting to purchase and for the recipients getting them let me just show them to you then on cards Lavinia's done this one with a feel better on the top I go with you I think that's a great one to go for because it does cover so much get well soon it's pretty self-explanatory Vera's done that one and then this one speedy recovery is that one just there and it just shows you you don't have to make big eight by eight cards all the time or even dl you can make much smaller thinner cards but are really attractive and if you are maybe sending these to a, a care home or indeed a hospital or someone's convalescing somewhere these days you're not allowed real flowers that, that's a no-no because of the scent and people having allergies that sort of thing as well well here you've got your flowers and you've got the cute characters without any of the downsides of not being able to show real flowers but you've still got them on the side of the bed which is lovely now we're going to move on to the um the card shapes now this has got to be one of my favorite card shapes i think carnation's ever done yeah when i saw it i thought it just took me to like the Wurlitzer. Uh, um, jukebox is it made you think has of that? that it's funny isn't it how your mind goes because to me it reminded me very much of a scale extric uh, scale extric track oh yeah if you see what I mean or with the little roses, yeah. Like yeah. all of it, and it's when you touch it, it's an incredibly tactile piece. When you touch it, and you've got that flow of movement going through it, it's very beautiful, very delicate, and it's got so many good uses. Now, remember, we can cut this in half, so you could just use the top half if you so cho chose, or the bottom, so you're not uh, just confined to the main card shape itself. If you want to use the whole of it, absolutely go for your life. You've got your base card here, then you've got your mats, and you've got your layers, and then on top of that you've got your nested elements that seat here that could create an aperture or create layers so you can build up and you've got the different panels to work with and it is just exquisite the way this card shape is made it's beautiful and that's actually combining half and half you've got half of the geometric lines card shape with that one at the bottom so you've actually got the uh, the kind of sun's rays at the bottom of it as well with Vera Bow doing that one so you can really kind of introduce that into lots and lots of different cards that you're making if you want to get the maximum impact out of it there it is with something going on behind it because it's quite thin lines you can still see through so it's kind of transparent to a degree uh, and you've got the sun's rays behind it there but it doesn't obscure it completely very very impressive so yeah that I can see why 60% of this collection has gone yeah it's going to sell out i think this collection you've got your beautiful ladder shape card shape as well your ladder card shape which is just stunning isn't it and the amount we can do with this again it's one of the most versatile card shapes we can snip into it you've got little pit marks here so where those little lines are you can cut at the sides of those to take off different elements it becomes the height we want it to be i get to manipulate this in a way that makes sense to me i can bend it i can shape it i can use one piece as a card shape I can create circular elements that if I piece those two together at the back, 
that become a 3D element on my card. Mm -hmm. And so there's different ways of playing in that way as well. That would fold then flat for postage, but it would pop forward as a 3D element. I can use that as a piece that is arched and I could put florals behind it, characters behind it, various different things, and it would almost become a balcony card. So when you start to think in terms of versatility, where you're gonna go with this card shape, literally the possibilities are endless. And so here you've got lots to do. As a picket fence. I mean, I saw it first and foremost, and it's called the ladder card. And I thought, yeah, fine, get it, it's a ladder. But why can't it be a white picket fence? Of course it can be. And because you've got those little slit lines in it, if you wanted to put foliage in it, whether it's going vertically or horizontally, that would work. I mean, this is being used as a background. It could be like a trellis. Barbara Trebwell made this one. So you've got that as very much um, an in the, in the distance background for that card, but it gives you, it dictates the kind of shape and the size of it with those beautiful sun's rays at the top. So lots of personality and lots of versatility with these collections. Now, this is the one out of both of them that is most vulnerable at the moment, $39.99 for both of these. There they are, great deal. I would have thought $39.99 for that alone would have been a good price, but you get both of them. And that's 240209. We're getting some compliments and messages on Facebook as well. Um, comfort of home would work well with this mm. too, Sam Smith says. Yeah, I, I agree. I think comfort of home. Honestly, I've, I've started to think recently in terms of versatility, comfort of home is probably, for me personally, the most versatile kit. It's got so many elements that we can reuse in different ways. Every crafter select that we do can provide us with an element for it. And so much of what we have in the set that we've got today will work with comfort of home. We're talking about people resting and recuperating at home. And so a lot of the elements that we've got would work with that, wouldn't they? It would make sense to have that teddy bear on the big armchair from comfort of home with the doctor next to him. It, there's there's loads of ways. Karen Jane Crafts on Facebook says, are we able to buy any of these separately, please? I believe they're all individually available on you the website. You can go and ferret on Carnation's website and you'll see everything that you need to see there. We do have a QR code at the bottom of the screen on the left-hand side. That'll take you to the full bundle. If you want to go and have a ferret and see if you can find the individuals, they are on the Carnation website and so are the uh, pieces of artwork for you to download. Just to well. give you a heads up, the best deal is to go for the whole collection because the deal and the value you get, the discount you get is superb. 99 nice as Carla said, for the first time, we've actually got the QR code. Just scan that with your phone. That will take you directly to Carnation Crafts website and more importantly, to the page that's got this main collection on it. Just makes it nice and simple, nice and easy. And the vignettes, the artwork to print off for all of this, the flowers and the characters, just go to carnationcrafts.co.uk, click on downloads. It will then come up with free downloads. That's where you'll see, of course, the artwork. Click on free downloads and then boom, you will see uh, care and kindness there. Backing papers free, uh, all downloadable and printable. Main artwork is the second row down, I believe. There we go. So you can print as many of those sheets off as you wish. We always rep recommend um, Pro Print Paper to get the best results, and we'll have that on our website as well in various different weights for you to choose. If you want the double sided vignettes, Carla always rates 120 GSM, so it becomes 240 when you sandwich it together, which I think we're about to show everybody, aren't we? Yeah, I'm going to cut the squirrel because I need him for my demo. So we're going to have a look at him. I just want to give a shout out to the backing papers. Please don't forget to download your backing papers. There's lots of very useful ones. They're all in the color tones of the perfect paper. So if you've already purchased those, they will work together. And each one will work in terms of your vignettes. And when we say vignette, we mean a piece of artwork that is printable. And if you look at the one here with the animals in it, when we start to think of the perfect papers and the color tones that we've got through it, we talked, didn't we, about the green that you get for the hospital, which is covered by the duck's head. You've obviously got the tones of the purples and lavender that come through as well. And then those beautiful cream tones that come through all of it, but certainly within the texture of the uh, the color of the rabbit and of the bear as well so everything working and that's why it's so important that's why the vignettes work so well because it matches in with those perfect papers which match in with those backing papers which match in with those insert papers you can't really go wrong the rest of it is just your imagination and what you can do with it as an artist yourself and we're just going to show you very quickly how to cut that i need to use the uh, squirrel in this demonstration so i will cut the squirrel now so we've got some idea for those of you who are joining us brand new i know we have new uh, new customers every time we air so just to make sure everybody has had a fair crack of the whip i'm just going to take a piece of a pair of scissors sorry and just snip on this black line now some of the vignettes that you come uh, they will all be they won't have the black line it'll just be plain if it hasn't got a black line it means it's not a mirrored vignette if you want to do a mirrored vignette and i'm about to show you what that means you'll need the one with the black line the other ones are for single-sided 
which means it'll be white on one side, colored on the other. Once we have made a little snip at either side, we can just fold onto that black line. Don't be tempted to fold centrally because sometimes it's not actually in the center of the paper. It is central to that black line. That's where we're going. You're gonna to need to put a little bit of adhesion on here if you want it to stay together permanently. And you can use uh, a spray glue or you can use a glue stick for that. That will serve its purpose for you. I've got to say hello to Amelia Vargas, who says, good morning from El Paso in Texas. Ooh. Hello, hello, Amelia. She says, I was wondering if it'd be possible for the DT team to come up with an, an elephant character. This is on YouTube. Um, Carnation Crafts actually in the office have replied to Amelia saying that there's Safari Friends from Dreamland Safari yes. and Piper Die Set from the Bundles of Joy. So, That's absolutely yeah. right. So they have had the elephants nice one, before. Um, they have pretty much covered a lot of things at this stage. Um, I would like them to do an anteater. So I'm hoping at some point Nick will create a little anteater because I think they're very, very beautiful. Have um, we done meerkats? Uh, now you're asking me questions. I think we do have a meerkat. There was a, was there a baby meerkat. Okay. Um, they're very cute too. Yeah, I love meerkats. So I'm going to place that on there. So I've got it inside the cut tidy. The paper is inside. The die is on top and I've used some low tack adhesive tape just to put on top. Put my mats together <coughs> so that I'm ready to shunt it through the machine. That'll feed through and cut that squirrel out for me. As it comes through the other side, I'll take it out for you so you can see the detail in the reason carnations dies are different. Can you just make sure that doesn't fall out? Oh, I haven't got one of the other dies with me. If you take a carnation die, I'll wait till the squirrel comes out and I'll show you exactly what I mean. But once we compare the artwork and the cut line detail to the die itself, because there's a very strict process that happens with Nick and his artwork in as much as the sketch will be drawn, thank you, because it's all done in-house. And then from there, the team, be that Nick or be part of the team, will also put lines on which become the actual metal die. Those lines are the cut lines that we just see and use, but they're so imperative to how we shape things out. And it becomes an incredible part of the process. You know when you're sitting and you're looking at, I don't know if you, I get obsessive about looking at like factory lines of pencils and things being made because my brain works that way. And you think of that process as we go through, we accept the fact that part of our factory process is that die cut in those lines and making those cuts that we need. And we get that automatically when we're looking at Carnation's dies. And it's a really lovely process because the quality is so high. Now I'm gonna remove the metal die itself and just get rid of that tape. Uh, and then I'm just gonna take this and he will come straight out from that cut tidy and I'll remove all of this debris. Would you, would you normally cut all of those characters at the same time or just cut them as you need them? Here's the thing, look at him. So I'm gonna to be totally honest with you, Dave. For my demos, if I'm doing demos, Carnation and the wonderful Lynn usually cut my uh, cut and stick as such for me. So they cut my vignettes for me in advance because I need so much of it. And they do an incredible job and I'm super grateful every time. Um, when I'm crafting on my own and I'm cutting my own out, I tend to cut as I need unless it's florals. Yeah, because otherwise, I suppose if you cut all the characters out and you put them in an envelope, they could get a bit buckled bent and or bent. Shape, yep. But for also because I, you know, like to play in different ways and do different things, so it makes sense for me to do them as I need them. Florals, no, I always bulk do my florals. I've got loads of them. I can pick and choose as I need, when I need, and I've got a million to go at. That sort of, um, not my exception, the other one I do in bulk is the, um, sentiments. I've always got sentiments done in bulk as well. But they are really beautifully done and the detail that we get in here and the fact that we've got the image not only on the front but I can turn him around and that image is on the back as well is super important. I'm going to take up two seconds more of your time to just explain the die for you. You can see the metal die here. Now something that's really important and Dave and I have actually been talking about this this morning slightly you can see all the lines, first of all, that you've got sitting here, okay? And every single line is then debossed or embossed onto the actual cut itself. And that creates fur lines and it also allows us to texture. One thing I'll give a very shout, a quick shout out to, but it is important. On the back of your Carnation dies, you will see the logo for Carnation. It will say Carnation Crafts embossed into the actual metal. Please, 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 because we do have this occasionally, if you come onto the thing and you're saying like, oh, mine doesn't fit, then it's not genuine carnation. You know carnation's dies because it says carnation on it. 
always go for genuine ones otherwise your artwork won't fit the quality won't be the same and you will not have the same experience and i just want to put that out there because i've you know been be bitten the same as every yeah, yeah because yeah. if you're getting a replica bear in mind carnation make all of their artwork in-house so they, it's not going to fit and it's this, this is the that. lovely thing about carnation is you, you you know it's pedigree you know where it's come from you know it's heritage the, you know you know normally when you buy artwork or you get artwork in a card collection or a die collection you don't really know where it's come from someone it's who's like the you dave together. we don't really know where you came from no, dave me neither <laughs> But you know that Nick and the team back at the office here in the UK have designed this and give you permission to make and sell with the artwork, which is great. Jam Bird says, we hey, also Jam. need penguins. <gasps> I love penguins. Yeah, me too. They make I me love laugh. lots of animals. What's the, is it a skunk that looks really angry? No, a badger. There's a badger that looks really angry. I don't think Nick could make one of those, but I really love it. I penguins, I'd, I'd, I'd agree. Penguins yeah. are beautiful. Yeah, it would be good. Right, I'm doing a, I want to concentrate just very briefly on this demo because if we only have time for one, I want to make sure I've done at least one aperture card. So I'm going to create the DL and I'm just going to push, put this together, okay? Now we have got so many aspects in this whole collection of things that we can create apertures with. For those of you brand new to card making who've got no clue what I mean by aperture, it's literally a piece, for instance, hold on. Here we go, let me make this in its simplest form for you. If I snip this away and this away, hold on, she says, there you go, let's just do this. Very brief example. That piece, there, that's an aperture. Right. It's a hole. An opening. Essentially, and that's all an aperture is. What that allows me to do, for instance, is put things behind my little aperture. So he could have his little face pushed through and he would be seated in my aperture. And we looked in the last show about cutting the animals appropriately in order to fit them in apertures. Now apertures are really important because visually what they do is allow us to add height and dimension and those things then become like a really nice piece of composition. And we're gonna look at that today and just very quickly look at how we go about doing that and what effects we can get from it. So I'm just gonna remove those pieces. This is one of the free backing papers. Mm -hmm. Take advantage of those. They're there for you to print off onto whatever paper or card you want to. It's all free for you at carnationcrafts.co.uk. And if you can't find them, just go to downloads and then free downloads and all the artwork will be there. So I'm gonna place down that backing paper. Now, again, you need to be straighter than I am, especially when we're working with apertures. I cannot lean over, so I can't do it precisely, but I'm gonna do the best I can with to the best of my abilities. Now, when you want to create an aperture and you can create different sizes of apertures and you can do variant different things. If you go to the Carnation Crafters group on Facebook and search in videos, I did a video a while ago about how to do a layered aperture. A layered aperture would be where you have an aperture that's the same size as such but I would have a different colored layer underneath and that would show through that's a layered aperture and that's slightly more complex not particularly but it's slightly more complex so do create a normal aperture I all I would do is select my biggest die and then a smaller die and I would put both through together and I would make sure uh, that they were held together with some low tack tape so those two dies sitting on top of my card low tack tape and it'll cut one piece on the inside or one on the outside that gives me a window a window frame if you like now start thinking where you're going to go with your apertures i've put that onto a good chunky five mil foam tape i could theoretically seat a little fence post behind it mm -hmm. and then i could have a little character behind my fence post just seated down here with some florals and you see suddenly how i'm framing him out and then i could add elements to the top of it and suddenly i'm getting perspective and i'm starting to get different dimensions to my card these are really important techniques that we learn as we're going and they allow us to create a whole new world of crafting someone else has said uh, great for vets cards that yep. we didn't think of earlier on absolutely there's a thank you card to a vet for helping to uh, make your cat or dog a lot better or whatever you've got. Uh, Sheila Parry says, I've ordered mine, can't wait to have a play. Yeah. Love your demos, you can't beat Carnation Dice. 
I agree. And I think it's it's one of those things that, you know, we should we should or I should certainly we, you know, don't take these things for granted because I do work in the industry quite strongly and it is very apparent how different carnations dies are and it's all to do with the artwork and the cut lines, it does make a difference. Now I've created my aperture and I've obviously got that seated there. I haven't pinned it down yet, but I will. When I'm creating, the one thing I need to note is that I can put anything that I want to go under the aperture under it without too much of a struggle. If you can't, the first thing you're going to need to do before you pin the aperture down is seat it. Once I've seated it, I can lift this. That's already in place. I know it's in the right place because I just seated it myself and I got it ready for where I want it to be. And then I need to create uh, get some PVA and I'm going to use wet glue for this. So by squishing some of this out next to me, get your glass cutting mats out. They will do you an absolute treat. I can now use my thumb, pin, lift. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just make sure I've attached key points at the top. Place, push, hold, and that will keep that exactly where I want it to be. And now I can move that pin in and lift this side and do the same. Now that means I've got it where I wanted it. It hasn't slipped, it hasn't moved, and I haven't got my placement out. It's exactly where I want it and it's seated. So you can create that really easy. Aperture cards are incredibly effective and they're incredibly easy, but they are slightly more tricky when it comes to placement. So my advice is always stick that piece down first, but make sure you've not pinned this piece down then you can get your alignment going. Ellen Cottis says on Facebook, I've had just had notification, mine is on its way. We See, like, I told you. We you, like you them apples. You place your order, you get your notification that it's on its way virtually straight away. Now I'm gonna try and match that up to the backing paper, but like I say, I can't see over. So I'm doing my best. Place, push, pull. And that gets where I want it to be. Can you see, oh, that might've been on the wonk a little bit. Can you see how beautiful that is? Mm, love it. Aperture cards are so important. Now I'm just gonna put a slight bit of detail in on the front. So I'm just gonna place this in the corner so it seats over and I've got that fan spread with that beautiful color that's coming through. Now obviously the only pieces that I can pin here are the corner elements and then the bottom elements here. Anything more than that is pointless because these pieces are free realistically. I could start to put elements at the bottom but there's no real need. In yellow, that is sun's rays to me. You're a little ray of sunshine as well, <laughs> you Dave. You too. That's, nobody's ever said that before, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true, kidder, but thank you. So now, all I'm gonna do now is just place some very delicate florals here. So I have got my, um, I think this is my ginseng. It is, mm -hmm. place that there. See the berry just coming off, facing away from the lower piece here. So we're facing off that You're way. an expert now, you know all the names. I mean Dave, me and Richard, David Attenborough, well, who's the one? Dave, David Attenborough. Yeah, but Alan Titchmarsh yes. is who I meant. Uh, it was similar but different, similar. my brain did a yeah, thing. A little, a little bit different. Right, I'm going to place that. <laughs> Can you see how I'm copying the curvature of the archway here? So yeah. I'm just copying that round, but I'm going to cover up my working. So placing that through. Fine, hey, up. finally. So I know I've got that in the right place. Let me just put a bit more wet glue here. There. Just to keep it pinned. Don't want it going off on its own, Dave. It's like you when we go into town and I have to keep hold of you so you yeah, don't want to Dave. Leash. Right, now I've got this. Muzzled. <laughs> no <laughs> such luck. I've got there, I've gone to take my ball tool here. I'm gonna use one that is an appropriate size for the build that I'm making. And you can see I've got subtle differences in the size here. I'm gonna go for the smaller one because I'm doing the smaller petals here. Sue Phillips Hickey says, hello, Carla and Dave. I've been hello, away too lovely. long, a bit late again. Doesn't matter, Don't Sue. Be... You can watch the shows back on Facebook or YouTube if you want to. So working around that floral here and I'm really sort of going in. Now the line that separates the petals from the stamen, is it the stamen, the wadjum, the doodah, I'm gonna use my smaller ball tool and I'm gonna go running along that side just to really push that out. And that's just basic sculpting, but it's gonna give me a beautiful doming effect on there. If I move the mat, you might see that a little better. Really pretty. And I can place that by putting on some silicon gel glue, which is obviously sculpting glue. He's gonna come here 
and then I've got one last element and we are done. Just place through, pushing on. And of course, there he is. We need our little man. So I'm just gonna very gently shape him out and we are all done. And remember with the mirrored vignettes, our little squirrel can be looking left or right. It's not just a case of having artwork in the front of the character and at the back of the character, but you've always got a lefty and a righty now. So that is a game changer for lots of kind of compilation card making. Well, it means if you know somebody with a broken leg, you can get the right leg, right? That's true. <laughs> And thought that. <laughs> <laughs> Okie doke, let's put some of this on here. He's going to see just in front of that flower. So we've got that little visual. Remember the berry coming down at the bottom. So you've got all your little visual elements and your little cues. And there he is, cute as a button with a beautiful, beautiful aperture card. Okay, love it. Now this is the last yeah. live show of the day today. Lots of you will be watching these shows from nine o'clock, 11 o'clock and one o'clock back. <laughs> later in the afternoon and into the evening if you've got things to do during the day. Uh, live at 20 to 2 we have stock available but this is a, an exclusive launch today for Carnation Crafts TV. It's not available anywhere else for at least another few days so if you want to get hold of yours 99.99 is the discounted launch price. That launch price will only be valid while stocks last or up until Friday at midnight. If you order it after Friday at midnight, it'll be 10% more. So order it now. While we've got the free PMP, of course, as well on if you spend over 50 pounds. So if you go for the main collection, 99.99. If you want to add in the geometric lines card shape and the easy ladder card shape, that's only another 39.99 to your order, which is exceptional value, 20 pounds each, uh, especially for this one that's got so many dies and so much going on in it. And the perfect papers, of course, as well, are a perfect complement to the dies and the artwork that you're enjoying. If you want to print the artwork off, why wouldn't you? It's free. All you've got to do, basically, is head to our website. Sorry, my watch is talking to me. <laughs> go to our website, carnationcrafts.co.uk, and uh, just go to downloads, uh, free downloads, and that's where you'll see the artwork. But look at what you could be making. Take a look at the, what the design team have done. aren't they? Gorgeous, gorgeous cards that you can be making with this collection. We're very conscious of the time, so let's crack on with another demo from our lovely Carla. Uh, this will be the last one of the day, but there are two more shows tomorrow, remember, at 10 and 12 o'clock, 10 a.m. and 12 midday. That will be Carla uh, showing you on her own. I will, indeed. I will be here, obviously, uh, uh, first thing. So let's have a look, one final look at a demo, and let's see the geometric card tray. I love this card tray yeah, so too. much. It's very pretty, isn't it, Dave? I Something it. very different. So again, we're going to score at half an inch along the length of the card shape and I'm going to remove my backing tape from here and place this down. I've got spray glue on my mat and it keeps sticking my cards together <laughs> when I've finished making them. So yeah, there you go. Right, I'm just going to place these together, put that towards my body so that I can control exactly as it goes down and then place okay and that's going to give me my perfect card base. Ellen Cotter says about Dave going out in town with you get one of those wrist leads that you have for kids to stop them running off. I do we have one of those and an Apple Air tag on him so that I can you know <laughs> locate him at any given time but sometimes that doesn't work out well in my favour either I'll be totally honest Dave. Uh, but yes, I've always been able to keep tabs on you. Haven't Where is he? Upstairs in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah I'm like no you can stay there it's fine. <laughs> right so we've got this here and there. It's always fun. I asked Dave. you that today when you said that your son had arrived at school. Oh, you did? And I said, have you got an air tag on him? How do you know that? And he said, no, 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 he texted me to say that I've arrived. He, he was like, do you, do you put a tag on your children? I was like, no, they text and <laughs> say so they've Good arrived idea, at though, school. I know. I do actually have a, an app that tracks him, that tracks both of my children, so I know where they are and that they're safe. Uh, um, so we do use that. So you weren't far from the truth, Dave. Right, so placing that Should down. put one on you as well. Now. Well, funny enough, I turned my location settings off on mine so no one can find me. One day I'm going to regret that, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> Miss Taz is like, where do you go because I don't leave the house? That's very <clears throat> true, Miss Taz. 
Right, I've got this piece here. Now, I want to create with panels. So I'm gonna seat one panel here and I'm gonna seat one panel next to it, leaving a tiny gap in between. And I just think they're so beautiful placed together there. They're really, really pretty, aren't they? They give a really gorgeous flow. Now, if you want to change the uh, composition on that or the view of that slightly, you can, of course, because we've got both, both florals going that way, you can, of course, because we've got mirrored vignettes, turn that around and have that beautiful span going either way. And yeah. that's really pretty. Well, that gives the vibe of a wild wildflower meadow. Doesn't it? Yeah. It's got a really gorgeous feeling to it. So that's how I'm gonna play with it. Obviously you're gonna do what's right for you. Um, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of wet glue here. We don't need much, Dave. Why don't we need much glue, Dave? Because it's sticky. There you <laughs> You sounded like step toe then. <laughs> Julia Garland says, hello from Boone in the USA. Hey, Julia. Uh, hey, I'd love to live in Boone. Uh, love this collection, already ordered. Julia, it's yeah. on its way. Is NC North Carolina, would that be? It will be, I would have mm. thought so. Thought Look so. at us pretending like we know the things, Dave. Mm. <laughs> I think it must be, right? I think so. It is. Miss Taz knows the I things. misread your name, Julia, when you called. I, said, I thought it said Judy Garland. I thought, part by me. No, Julia. <laughs> That would be uh, You would have been more excited, Dave, as well, I think. Let's place that there. It's like one of your icons, isn't it? Is it you? Who was it? No, it's one of their icons. Not me. And then I've got this here. I do so like it, but I wouldn't I'm going to put icon. this in opposing ways. Wizard of Oz is one of my favourite films, you know. Oh, yeah, totally. Love it. Place that there at this side so I've got that gorgeous gap in the middle. Now what's really nice to note about this is as it seats and we place those chamomile flowers down, it ends just where the curvature begins. So we have this really beautiful draw from the eye upwards and then around. And that means whatever you put on here is going to be well placed. So if you wanted to put another sun right there, for instance, that would balance everything as well. I don't particularly want to do that for this demo. What I do want to do is decoupage up a couple of elements, not too much, but I just want to put some key elements together. So I'm just going to add a little bit a up of pin flare here. She says a little bit, it turned into a lot. Just one second, there we go. Butterfingers, Dave. It. Mm, almost. It might be a bit messier than we'd hoped, but we're just going to build this. So I've got that small amount of decoupage. Remember, if you've turned over your vignette like I did, you're going to need to turn over your decoupage elements for it to fit. That might seem obvious with this one, but it may not be obvious on others. Now, when it comes to the creatures, I am going to use two of them and I want to shape them out, but I don't want to shape them too much. The first one that I place down, I am actually going to use flat. I'm not going to put any structure to him at all. I want him almost just as a base layer. So he's going to sit just down, I'll put him in the corner, I'll put him about here. Mm -hmm. So I haven't put any height or any dimension on him at all. However, when I move on to the next level, I want to shape him, I want to have some extra umph. So I'm gonna almost, because I'm creating almost a curl on that paper, I'll get almost a drop shadow on him uh, with the layer underneath, which is super, super cute. It's not massively obvious, but it's very lovely to the eye line. So I'm going to bring this round, roll around his thigh there. And the, the actual shaping of his belly and everything makes such a massive difference. It really brings the whole creature Just, to life. Well, also as well, the fact that Nick's cut lines are where they are, which means you can really go yeah, to town with yeah. that sculpt in. So just shaping him then and pulling that forward. Try and keep hold of this one instead of dropping it like the lavender. And fill him nice and high now. Sometimes I feel like I'm in charge of Jane Fonda workout when I'm doing this. And glue gel will be on Carnation's website as well. Pin flare, Pin yes, flare, they yeah. do sell it and you get your syringes there as well. So now I'm building height and I get kind of a drop shadow from where the flat one is underneath because I curled that paper and the effect's incredible for it. It's really pretty. But I'm gonna offset that by doing the same with the robin. I want some height. And the robin's gonna be placed up at the top. So the first one I'm gonna structure is going to be flatly based. And I'm gonna place him, you could place him in between, but it's a bit much for me. I'm gonna place him slightly over to the further edge so that he's not sort of in the way of the squirrel. Mm -hmm. So it'll come down, we'll have a slight line going down. We're creating those diagonals, remember, for composition. And then I'm gonna take my little beautiful robin here 
I'm going to just go around his head and his wing onto his tummy onto his tail and then I want to take the bigger ball tool and work the bandage at the bottom to that center point change it and go to the top and that's him sorted again we don't want a, a like a Christmas bauble so I am just gonna pull those shapes forward finally put my last decoupage piece on we've got a simple card that's very very cute and pretty and all of us today have had such a ball playing and working with this collection and I know many of you have messaged in and thank you for those of you that have to say how much you've loved it, how much you've ordered it. Um, maybe you're going to go for the Geometric Lines card shape and the Easy Ladder card shape as well at the same time. Don't forget your perfect papers because that is a marriage made in heaven. But for those really sometimes tricky cards to, to make, to say get well soon or that I'm just thinking about you, you know, you've got a friend in me, that sort of thing. That's what these are about. It's not all about people who have been poorly, uh, but people people who just maybe have had a bad time for whatever reason recently and you're not quite sure how you can make a card to send to them. Um, this is the ideal collection because you've got your beautiful graceful flowers and you've got the cutesy and whimsical characters as well. But all the design team have been fantastic with their fantastic demonstrations and, and cards today. Remember all of these shows can be watched back at your convenience on Facebook and on YouTube as well. But Carla will be here tomorrow with two more shows, one at 10 o'clock and one at 12 o'clock. But this collection is going very fast just to give you a heads up. Um, order it and put it in your basket and it could even be with you tomorrow. That's how quickly Carnation Dispatch. Thank you, Taz. Thank you. Thank you, Carla Long. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I will see you in a couple of weeks' time with the next launch uh, here at Carnation Crafts TV.